everybody, how are you? Look at this. I'm ready to go to a birthday party, but I want to show you the birthday party. It's uh, going to be, ah, almost fell. <laughs> it's going to be Moana. So this design, I make it in a big version. So I'm going to try to make it in a small version. But the thing is, to make it big, you just have to use bigger balloons. So these ones are 350. And then the rest, it's, this is going to be an experiment, but I'm very excited to share because I think it's a cute one. And especially because I, I don't have big balloons, like... For the head so this is kind of the face i made i'm sure you're gonna make it better but i think this is adorable it's baby moana and i'm gonna dedicate this tutorial to a very nice subscriber thank you so much eb mccarthy eb mccarthy thank you so much for your uh gifts something very cool you know all the loot research use what is it the cups yes these cups you can find it on my amazon wish list uh, but these ones are a very, very important tool for balloon twisters in these days that we are doing more deliveries than, you know, parties. So thank you so much because I will use it for sure, especially in this Easter season. And I put it right here. And that's not all you sent. You sent something really, really special that I put in somewhere. I know it's, I, I always like this crazy, but I'm going to have to look because I, it's right here. <laughs> this, and you know what it is? I'm going to show you all of you. Because this is something really cool. I saw on Amazon and if you don't know, I love alpacas and llamas and those animals are super cool. And you and this is a very cute alpaca lamp. So it's a lamp, you have to connect it. I'm gonna show you, you have to connect it, you just put it here. There are different designs, but this one is really cool. So I have to probably plug them, but this is so awesome to be there on my shelf. So I'm gonna plug them and for the next video, you probably will see it. I think it's a really cool thing. You just touch and then it's gonna turn on. And I'm gonna read the instructions, but I wanna say thank you. And let's start making this video. I'm just kind of like, oh, it's all right. I'm in a hurry, but I'm gonna try to make a slow the steps that I think you may be a little bit confused. But okay, so I don't want to uh, right now, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna take my hat so it's not too um, crazy because I'm gonna be wearing that. I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> Okay, let's start it. So um, we're gonna start making the body because I think the body is a really cool idea to make a baby. But when I say baby, it's not like a baby that can walk. So it's a baby like a toddler, right? So this is kind of gonna be the idea. You're gonna inflate, have a loom to 60, like six finger tail, and you're going to make, you, let's make it in the easy, fastest way. It's gonna be like a very small loop. You see, like three finger loop. And then you're gonna make a, Bubble pinch twist, so it's gonna be very easy and simple. From there, you're gonna measure like what? Because this is gonna be a small, you don't want this to be. So it's gonna be approximately three finger bubble. And then you're gonna make a bubble pinch twist, another bubble pinch twist. So from here, look, you're gonna make just something even smaller. If this were three, this one's gonna be two finger bubble. So this is kind of the idea. This one is kind of like, oh, it seems like four now. This one is gonna be three, okay? Now you're gonna make a small pinch twist and that's it. Now you want to repeat the next step in the second 260 mocha brown. Inflate it six finger tail or eight between that. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster. So it's like a two, three finger loop, pinch twist. Then three or four finger bubble, and then two pinch twists, and then you're gonna make three pinch, three bubble pinch twists like that. Um, I think I'm forgetting something. Yeah, I'm forgetting something because the thing is I made it the first time like this, but I'm thinking then the legs are gonna be too separated, and I don't like that idea to make the legs too separated. So that's why I decide to, instead of start this all, I'm sorry, I, I'm as always excited, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Think it's not at the end of the world. So before you do this, I recommend you to the second balloon, you attach it right here. Touch it to the first leg. And then you make a small bubble, like a one finger bubble, and then you start making the whole thing. The, the feet, the pinch twist, the ankle, right? Then four finger bubble, and then pinch twist, pinch twist, 
And this is another thing I'm thinking, and at the knees, and that's kind of like the other thing. You can make also a bubble with a balloon you're working with, a little bubble, and connect it to here, to the other leg, you see? So it's kind of like the boots or that I always do for superheroes, it's kind of that idea. And then you have to go back with another little bubble to the next, you know, to the legs that we're making. Okay. When you have this, you're going to stand up your balloon just like this. So I'm going to show you. I just connected, started from this leg, go with a one finger bubble, make the loop, the pinch twist, go up with a four finger bubble, two pinch twist, go with a one finger bubble to this pinch twist, then go back to this part. And now finish it with a three finger bubble. And make a pinch twist. Now from here, this is what I did. You can pass one of the bubbles, you know, to the other side, but you want this to start getting a little bit bigger because you know, this is chubby, it's a baby. So we're gonna make it into like five finger bubble. Five finger bubble and you pass it one side. And then you want to make another fighting a bubble with the other balloon and pass it to the other side. Now, when you have this, it's time to make that. She has like shorts or like diapers, but that color, and this is the thing is that's what important to have different color. It's this color. What is this color? It's not white, not yellow, but it's in between. Um, what's the color of that? Look at this. I think that's the perfect color for that. What is that color between white and yellow? Hmm. It's not toffee, but if you have toffee, maybe you can try it with toffee. It's, um, I forgot, beige, is that a color? <laughs> so find something. If you don't have that, try maybe with a play between, you put one balloon double stuffing, right? But that's gonna be too much. Maybe with a blush, you can try, you know, but this is more yellowish. Okay, now you're gonna touch it in one of the pinch twists. How much tail? Well, look, there's a lot of tails here, like 10 finger tail. You're gonna start passing one side, one in the front, okay? And then one in the other side. And then go back. Okay. Now, there is gonna be one that is gonna be in between, okay? And that's gonna be like, if this were like five finger bubble, so this one, imagine it's like two and a half finger bubble, okay, two and a half finger bubble, twist it, and then you're gonna make another two and a half finger bubble. You twist it there, and then you make another, and the idea is this is gonna be like this, look. You're gonna, you twist it there, and then you're gonna make another one and a, two and a half finger bubble that connect to the other pinch twist here, okay? Yes, like that. Very squishable, it's okay. Um, and then if you want, you can add more in the back, but I think it's gonna be okay like that. So I'm gonna cut, and that's it. You don't need this balloon anymore. So save it as your balloon scraps. Okay, so this is a cool part for this baby. And the thing is, it can work for probably different type of, uh, I, I, I think, shoulders or babies that can work. <laughs> Okay, so you have this here, and it kind of doesn't look so good. So the idea is, we're gonna inflate. This is a quick link. And if you don't have a quick link, you're gonna have to use what? Those round balloons, and they make a racing beam. So then you have two connections in each side. I like to use this way, but it's up to you which side you wanna put in the bottom. I'm gonna use this tip to the bottom. And this is what I'm gonna put. I'm gonna open it in between these two round, 260 grab it from the bottom and pull, 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 pull as hard as you can and connect it, look this, you put a pass it around, okay, and it make pressure because the idea is then that's going to help that side too, and pass it around there between these two and a half bubbles, 216, and then try to tie it. It may be tricky, but not impossible. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm pulling my finger there and grabbing it and pass it. Around. So it's hard to show you while I'm doing it, but it's not hard, it's just try. That's kind of like the way I made it. So then that is going to be kind of like squishing and holding the little shorts, you see? So like that. Look at that. I think that's really cute. Now when you have that, 
This is what we're gonna do. We want the belly kind of to come up, right? Come out. So that's what we're gonna do something like this. Like holding all up, and the belly is coming out. This part is in the back, but making a triangle idea. Okay, so you kind of have to play with that. I kind of like go and twist all together. So I'm pulling the nozzle and twist all together the same size as possible. Oh. I just kind of like to play with the pressure and I'm gonna pass this around. So you have these three balloons all connected. Now you can start cutting this or if you have left over one half more, you have to be like make two pinch twist for the neck. So for example, this one have more. So that's what I'm gonna use it to make like a three finger bubble, two finger bubble, pinch twist, and one more bubble, pinch twist. The rest now you cut it. You don't need it anymore. Pew, pew. And now you tie it. You tie it all there. See? There you go. Now you have this. Look at this. Um, I forgot to do something that it was pinch twist with this part. You see? I forgot that. And I feel kind of like, ah. Uh, but never is too late. And you have this. The idea is in each side you have to have a pinch twist. And oh my mind. I'm gonna do it because the idea is each side had to have a pinch twist. I'm doing it in a number something, but I'm sure that's what you watch the video before you start making balloons. Look, you put it in each side. So when I, you attach it to this brown pinch twist, you make sure you, you make the pinch twist, you know, so that you don't have to waste your time doing all that. Because it's holding, uh, that's kind of the short. Okay, okay, yep, 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 okay, so we have something like that, we have this, and it's interesting because I'm playing with different sizes, but at the end, this is kind of the same idea, I wonder how it would look, is in instead of doing this brown, we just use it with the shorts, and uh, I think it's going to look cuter, don't you think? So this is another thing, you learn from my mistakes. In this version, because it's a smaller, it will be better if you don't do this part of the 260 brown. So you just connect this color, you know, like bone color, and just do it, you know, that way. I hope you understand. But uh, if you do it this way, then you can hide it, but it's not gonna be the same. So try to not to do that and yeah, so that's you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna pop them so you don't get so confused what is going on here. So I'm gonna take it though. So imagine it never exists, and you're gonna have something like this. I think it's gonna look much better, don't you think? Yes, I think it's better. It's, it's now doesn't have much pressure. Maybe you can make now another bubble here of with this color. But so far, it's okay. I'm just having it this way, okay? I think it looks better. Because you have one that this belly. This is the big belly. Now, what else? We're gonna grab a second quick link. And this second quick link, you're gonna inflate it. Almost all the way. We're gonna make this type of head. Look, you inflate it all the way, then you need some air. Okay? And it's kind of like all the way there. You're gonna pull this side and tie it in the in the what right here in the middle so you have this you tie it twice so make sure it doesn't came here out so you have something like this okay now from here you're gonna grab this is um what chocolate brown so it's darker than the mocha brown and you're gonna inflate it like six finger tail you're gonna start making like two finger bubble pinch twist love them and this is kind of the cool thing you can just have here two connections even if that you tie it together so you just pass it through there okay and then you kind of measure the head right there and you're gonna make another two finger bubble pinch twist and you're gonna connect it in the other side okay there you go 
So that's kind of the first bubble that kind of measures the size of the head. But then the rest is like, so you have to kind of like have this idea. This is the face. It has like short hair here and then keep a little bit more. So that's what you measure then approximately what? Like three finger bubble or four finger bubble. A little small pinch twist, soft and squishable. Twist it. And then you're gonna connect it to the other side, whatever is left. Like that's gonna be, let me see, like seven approximately, seven or six finger bubble. And then you're gonna have to go back again to the pinch twist, play with that. You know, in, in, when you think about hair, you want, you know, like have to squish and play with the size you prefer. But for, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's just, this is what I'm doing. Now, look at what is the tiling part. It's there and it's okay. Now you just have to pass this to one side to the other side, you know, to one side to the other side. If you were at the end with a bubble, you connect it to here, to this pinch twist. And now you have that. Now, look how it's looking. And I think she will need more hair. That's why I grab a second balloon. And this is the thing, the second balloon, which is what we're gonna do. We're touching into any of the pinch twists. It's again, like approximately five finger tail. Or this one actually made it with four, but it doesn't really matter. It's just to play, look. And I, to make it that crazy hair coming out, uh, you're gonna make like loops, like three finger loops. I'm making like three finger loop approximately and you have to twist it there. You can make one more, I think it looks cute. And the thing is, if you are in a hurry, you just kind of have a couple there, pass it to the other side, okay? Okay, pass it to the other side and just come on in the bubble. Um, you can make it, this is, this one for example, you can make it even shorter, that means you're gonna pull some and make this bubble smaller, that's gonna pull the pinch twist. So it's all about, you know, how um, you have this, and I pass it again one more time to make a little bit tired there. And again, play to have some loops in each of the sides. So let's make one more here, one more loop. I'm just making loops, that's what I'm trying to do, loops, and then go to one more loop in the other side. Go all the way there, from one pinch twist to another one, and in this one, you're gonna make a couple more loops. You see, that's kind of what I did. And you're gonna finish this with the rest. You just make a little bubble and connect it to all those bubbles. Things that have to be perfect, I'm just trying to do your best. So, okay, so I'm just accommodating things. You see, that's gonna kind of help the crazy the hair to be a little bit crazy to the sides. But this is what I made. So now, you need something here to decorate. So what I did is a pink blush uh, flower, but because this design is smaller, maybe, um, it's okay. You just grab a 160 fuchsia and just make, doesn't matter how much air, because it's, you just need a little bit. You're just, you're just gonna make a small, a small flower of five or six petals. So that's what I'm doing, a small flower of five, or finger pedals, if you want to make seven, uh, it's up to you, but I'm making it right now into five. I'm going to cut this, leaving some teeth. Look, in the picture I saw, it doesn't have anything, but if you want, you can add like a pinch, a little yellow color here. It's um, optional. I don't think it's necessary because that's how we saw in the picture. I haven't seen my, the movie only once in my life, <laughs> so I just basically go on Google and check out the picture. So this is what I have. Look, this can be a very cute doll, you know, no matter what. So now from here, look, we have, we have this connection. This connection that is in between the head, but it's okay because you have something here that you can pull that is the nasal. And you can tie it with these straps. You see, or you can just go ahead and pass it in between the line and that's what I'm doing. I have the line there and I'm gonna pass it. And you can, you know, play with the pressure, how much you want to give it, you know, it's all up to you. I like to, don't make it too tight, but, you know, just trying to do your best there. Because the thing is, as soon as you have that, you have to play with the bubbles and the hair. And you, you don't want, let me see, let me show you. This is the front. So, you have the pinch twist, to kind of like have that connection there. Just looking at the design. 
and it's kind of like the face two coming out so that's what i kind of like grab and open all this and push the head inside so things are looking much better you see i think it's looking better it's all about you know look at your design accommodating things and make things look better you can always kind of go and play with the pinch twist the bubbles look even one of the brownish are kind of coming inside in between the pinch twist you can play with that it's okay to make things more stable but i think this is a very cute design it's not done if you're in a hurry you may think these are the arms but i was thinking what about if i make other arms from this pinch twist other little arms so what do you think it's up to you but from here it's already kind of like a little cute shoulder so i'm gonna use a second balloon 260 oh because i'm gonna so i lose battery and the thing you can make you know like the hands together and it's holding something it's, it's up to you but what i'm gonna make is just two small arms so very basic this balloon i inflated leaving like like eight or ten finger towel and look how i have it like this they might bend it we know how to do this you you want kind of like these small little cute arms okay you're gonna put it between the pinch twists and twist it you can pass it around a couple of times why not and then you're gonna have to make the same idea the other arm the other side okay now kind of measure the same thing make a loop make a pinch twist and this is something else i did is so i don't have to use glue it's I, the, the leftovers you just pop them you know all this you can kind of like pass it tie it so it doesn't get undone but look what i did i pass it all the way to behind in between this side i pass it through there i pass it the other side and that's gonna keep the arms kind of like close to the belly so it's up to you if you think you will like that idea you can even have some extra here to attach something like what she has like a what is that a shell right like a caracol something like so let me see okay there we go look so you have this cute doll now sharpie time look for sharpie time it's not like i'm the best but one thing that it can be cute and easy these sharpies are not really working but i hope it's like dry but you just make a circle there a circle the other side and a circle right there <laughs> it's brown i kind of like leave it here and now it's a little bit kind of working but it's kind of dry um now what else for the eyes you know you will see all the time the picture there so you better do that i'm gonna try to do it like in a fast way and i make one circle another circle then i make kind of like a line from the end of this part of the circle so like I make a line thing, I make a line the other side like this, and then from there I kind of kind of like have something like that. It's like a and you see? And then from there from here I kind of like pew, 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 eyelashes and the same thing here on the corners. Now, you can uh, make, you know, all drawing. Oh, I lose this part, I'm gonna tie it. I lose it, I, I, you make sure you tie well, you know, everything. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So that's and get undone. And this is the video I wanted to share with you because I just made this baby Moana and I think it's very cute. Hmm. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? From here, you know, things, you don't have to make it exactly the way I made it, but maybe you can learn some things that you can, you know, use it as your favorite part. Okay, I'm just accommodating the head. Perfect way I think it looks cute. Now, you look at your design and the nose, what I did for this design, it's I just lit a little pinch twist and then I tape it with blue dots. So you can do the same here or you can make you know a nose just drawing but before whatever you do with the nose you can start making the lips and i just use brown and kind of like make lip oh it's not working the brown but 
Let's see. Look at this mouse. You just make kind of like a line in the center. And then inside, if you have a blush or soft color, you know, let's see if this one works. And you just color. It's kind of like good. But I'm sure, you know, you are much better with this. You just color it. And if things that doesn't look too much the lips, you can just put some black, you know, and kind of make the shape better. A little more clear. You know, it's up to you, that part. Now, brown, you can pass it around, make a circle, and it's working. It's working. Yay. You see, you pass it around, you have this. And you grab some white and just color it the outside this part. Make looks think you can even a little bit from here. So that part I think you will be much better than me. For sure. Look. Now from here I just make a little circle in each side, just like that. And that's all. Okay, this video is long again. What else we need to do? Look. Oh, the necklace. And what I did for the necklace is just a 160. You just grab maybe this balloon scrub will be good enough. You just have to make lots of little bubbles because she has like Shakira's or pearls. So a lot of little bubbles. And that's what I did. And then I just pass it around between the neck. That's going to be also a good thing that you can use to um, cut things that are more stable. So that's what I'm doing, little bubbles. Well, thank you so much. Thank you again, Evie McCarthy. Thank you for uh, sending the, the cups. The plastic cups are very useful. I made a bunch of bubbles and I have to make sure you feel it here. You feel it in the back. If it's getting tight, that's what you want. So then you pass it through there, you tie them. And I have to get ready because I have to go now. Oh yes, today is a very cool day. I'm going to be able to get out of my house. It's a sunny day which is really cool. Now you can accommodate the neck, but that's gonna help you also to put things. I noticed this girl doesn't have eyebrows. I did the eyebrows black. And what I did is kind of like measure a line. My, my shirt is dry. Well, you make a line and then go down a little bit. So I'm gonna show you. Okay, so you can color a little bit more. You can make some angle, but that's kind of the idea. There she is. Now the nose. I think it looks cute with a little dot there. So you just grab a 160 balloon scrap. That will be ideal. I'm gonna start closing all this. Oh, this video is too long. It's gonna take forever. But that's what happens when you make a, a specific character. And I'm gonna just grab a little dot. This is something I do to make cute noses. It's just one pinch twist. You have to kind of measure how big you want. And you make it into a pinch twist. You tie it twice. If you feel like it's gonna lose air one more time. Cut all the excess. Make sure you cut it very, very um, clean. That means don't leave anything there. Then you grab your glue dots. And I like to put it in one of the sides of where I tied it. But just very close. So that's gonna be hiding. And that's the part that is gonna be and then I like to have that glue dots kind of like, let me show you, and the bottom. You see, I have it in the bottom now. Let me see how I usually do. I have to see. Okay, so I have it on top. On top of what I tied, a little bit on top, and that's what I'm, it's gonna go to the face. I think it's look better. And you decide where to have it. And you look at your design and that's it. I don't wanna make the show because it's like I did any, whatever, you know, like balloons there. So for the show, trying to do, you know, it, I, I use golden rod, a little bit of pink, and just kind of like the other rose, but it's just pinch twist on top, pinch it to the bottom. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of like a small version. This is a bigger one, but I like the small version because now I learn, look, with, it, with practice, you learn what is better. Things that I will avoid from this design is this part. And in, you know, instead of do that part, I use it, you know, this only color. I think that will be better. So that is something I can change and I will. And I'm glad how it looks this one. It's just, um, yeah, you, you learn with your mistakes. 
thank you so much. Don't forget how to collaborate and make this channel much better. Well, always on the description of all my videos, I have my address, a wish, I'm an Amazon wish list, and also I have a Bimo account, a PayPal account, and you can send uh, also comments, your likes, all that helps this channel. What else? Um, yeah, see you in the next tutorial. Ciao, ciao.